previously on Minecraft Story Mode. If these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer. That's not what I was expecting. See, this is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs, guideposts. You can call me Harper. Your bravery is an impressive quality. I look forward to studying that aspect of your personality. Once you have been made useful. We'll see about that. No. What is that? This is the Redstone Heart. Beautiful. It can help you find your way home. <laughs> if we actually made it through this alive, I thought you'd like a nice surprise. The answers you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. Adventure? Wow, that... that's a lot of stairs. And all revealed by the Redstone Heart. Amazing. Yeah, not bad, right? After you. Looks pretty ominous. There's some sort of giant monster up here, another evil computer. No, no, nothing like that, but you'll see. Come on. Ah, <sighs> feels like just yesterday we were building this place. Still don't agree with some of the aesthetic choices. Very odd to be back. This is so cool. We've been exploring the old builder's world this whole time. It's amazing. Well, we were pretty proud of it when we were putting the place together. Kinda thought I'd never need to come back to tell you the truth. Oh, I'm sensing a story here. I guess you could say that. Oh, come on, Harper. Going home is fun. You should be excited. <laughs> Clearly, you've never met the others before. Others? You mean we're going to meet more old builders? Still don't like it when you call us that. Yep, but I gotta warn you, they're not as friendly as I am. I'm probably the, uh, nicest old builder. Uh-huh. Old builder social politics. My goodness. Hey, I'm just glad you're on our side. Old builder or not, you've been pretty cool. Well, thank you, Jesse. I hope I can keep living up to that. Well, you're gonna give us the Atlas and then we can go home, right? Kind of. The Atlas isn't exactly mine to give. It belongs to the other, uh, old builders. And, well, they might not want to give it up. Why do I get the feeling there's a lot you're not telling us? Good instincts? Harper, I thought that's why we brought you. To convince them to hand over the Atlas. You're not gonna let us down, right? I'm gonna do my best, but I warn you now that there could be complications. What kind of complications? You'll see when you get there. Jesse, come here. Are you sure we can trust Harper? Look at all of our interactions with her so far. They haven't exactly been great, remember? Yeah, I do. She saved our lives, Lucas. Only after she put them in danger. If I remember correctly, we saved her just about as much as she saved us. Don't worry, okay? We're gonna get that Atlas and get home. I appreciate the vote of confidence, Jesse. Sorry, I just couldn't resist a good eavesdrop. I promise I'm trying to help, Lucas. You just gotta go through there. A, a door? Like a regular door? Time to step through and find out. Ah! Very what? pricey oh. thing. Before you go in there, I have one more piece of advice. Don't die! What? <laughs> Oh, come on, Nell. 
I'm no. trying, Em. Dig, dig. Faster. Go, go. I feel like... Oh, oh, God, we can't move it. Well, what do we have here? Seems as if some new competitors have entered the match. My, isn't that special? I just... What in the world did Harper dump us into? Well, whatever you do, don't stand still too long. Those big, beefy dudes up there seem like they're aiming for us. Hang on! I just realized what this reminds me of. Spleef! Is it in tight? No, it's a game. You try to knock the floor out from other people and make them fall. Ah, be like this! That was my only decent teammate. Oops, did face me drop something? against the rules, right? Yeah, I didn't think we could throw TNT back at the gladiators. Nice one, brah. You are an incredibly horrible individual. You killed one of my best friends. Hey, I don't care about your compliments, and I'm definitely not your bra. Whoa, hang on, dude. I am not in charge here, okay? It's them. Yes, we are the ones in charge here. And we have never had to stop a match. Ever. It definitely is strange, Mavia. What is going on here? I want an explanation. Immediately! This is going to require some reconfiguring of the stats, for sure. Well? Well, I hope those fancy clothes don't stain, because I'm going to make you pay for what you did to my friends. Well... This is interesting. Ugh, lashing out just because your friends were eliminated. Kind of sore loser behavior, don't you think, sport? It is part of the games. Oh, you can't be serious! <laughs> as serious as that beard of yours. Are you people crazy? People are dying out here, and you're still talking about games? Oh, wow. You don't know, do you? Your friends aren't dead. Wait, what? How? When people are eliminated in the games, they don't die. <laughs> that would be wasteful. <laughs> Obviously. They come back, and then we have them go work in the mines. Jesse! <clears throat> Your friends are alive and well. It's just a game. Let my friends go. Sorry, sport, but they were eliminated. <laughs> Them's the rules. It's called respawning, champ. We're not monsters. <clears throat> in our games, when people die, they reappear in one of our respawn zones. I hear it's still pretty painful, though. Well, sport, now that you've come and interrupted our games, I'm sure our fans would love to know how you got here. Spill! Oh, why bother? They all end up in the mines. Stairs. Lots of them. Are you being a Weisenheimer with me? Is that really what's going on? Wow. Say, so can we get someone to kill this little moron for me, please? A few dozen times? <laughs> Easy, Hadrian. 
Jesse's with me. Well, if it isn't Harper. I must say, this return is unexpected. You're telling me I'm here for Jesse. Oh, really? So tell me, Jim, why do you think Harper brought you here? My bet's on Pet. That'd be pretty cute, right? We just want to get our friends and go home. Sorry, Chief, but this is your home now. Might as well get comfy. No way. We've been lost in your stupid portal hallway long enough. We're going home. Meaning you need my atlas. Very interesting. Well, that's all well and good, but I'm confused. Why would we give anything to someone like you? You weren't invited. And you interrupted Spleef. Because I have something you want. Oh? <laughs> you must be joking, Hadrian. Joking. Oh, jokes! Ha <laughs> ha! Hilarious! Nope, not joking. I doubt you'd have anything that would interest us. Oh, send them to the mines. They're cheaters. Let's make their lives miserable. What about this? <gasps> I present the redstone heart. Huh. Seems like only yesterday someone took off with that and vowed never to return with it. Oh, but I didn't bring it back. Jesse did. Thing's no toy, slugger. How about you just hand it over, huh? It could be, uh, pretty dangerous if you don't know how to use it. Uh, nope. This is mine. Not gonna happen. Oh, really? Let me tell you how this is gonna go. Here's the way my offer works. You give me the heart, you and your friends go back down to those portals, I never look at your insignificant face again. Uh, without the Atlas? But we need that to get home! So, not my problem. I don't play that way, Hadrian. If I can't have the Atlas, you can't have the Redstone Heart. Come on, gang, let's get out of here. Oh, wait, wait! wait. Well, hey, well, wait, 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 I'm, I'm sure we could reach an agreement that suits everyone. Well, kiddo, I admit, you do drive a hard bargain. I'm, I'm sure I can think of something fair for the both of us. Well, you need the Atlas, and I need competitors. After your unexpected intrusion, I seem to be short a team. So how about this? You play in the games, if you win, the Atlas is yours to keep. It's a good deal, Jesse. Trust me. Everyone enjoys these games. Can't wait to see what the other games are. I hope they're fun. Well, there you have it. A deal's been struck, huh? To the games! All right, then. I suppose we can carry forward with the official oh, edition. Enough. Add it on your own time. Oh, but there's one other thing I want. If they lose... Harper has to go to the mines, too. Oh, gravel. Harper, want to be a friend and show our new competitors to where they'll be staying? Sure thing. Jesse, this was not part of the plan. Wrapped up in one of Hadrian's deals. Ugh! He's not one to let other people get the upper hand, you know. Harper, how bad is this going to be? Give it to me straight. It's not going to be a cakewalk, that's for sure. Hadrian has people play the games now just for his own amusement. Hmm. I thought I got a whiff of megalomania off of him. Ah, <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I really am. Let me show you where the competitor village is. We used to have competitors from all over travel here to play in the games. At least until the others ruined it. What happened? Hadrian and Mevia let power go to their heads. They started pitting people against each other, just for sport. Forcing people to be here. It isn't right. Come on, I'll show you where you'll be staying. Well, here it is, the competitor village, sort of a home away from home for all the people playing the games.
They're all in the games. Yep. At least the ones who aren't stuck working in the quartz mines. Those poor souls are just waiting for their next shot. Mining is tough work. I feel bad for the people that are too scared or weak to play in the games. Wow, that's just horrible. I know. They didn't make a deal like you did, Jesse. They're stuck here till they win the games. And if they lose? Hadrian sends them to toil in the mines. If they're lucky, they'll get another shot at the games. But it might take a while. I'm going to go confer with Otto. We go way back, and, well, he's usually the most reasonable of the three. Hold on a moment. We still haven't found Petra or Lucas. <sighs> I'm thinking that Hadrian must have sent them through the portal to the mines. Which is technically against the rules. No one's supposed to go there until their whole team is eliminated. Well, then we're just going to have to get them out. See what you can do here. I'm going to try and find Otto. I've got confidence in you, Jesse. You might just get out of this. we got to get our friends out of the mines quick. I'll see if any of these other competitors have any promising leads. Cheater that blew up my friend, Slab! And face meat doesn't like cheaters. Don't stand around breathing up all of face meat's air. Face meat prefers dweeb free air. Do you know where my friends are? In the mines. Duh. And they're not going anywhere. Not on face meat's watch. That doesn't mean just stand there. Please, pretty please let them go. Face me knows not to let prisoners out. Oh, but giant eyes. Oh, oh. Well, there is something you can do. Face me was busy slamming mad raps at the gym and missed lunchtime. You see? So face me's hungry. Do something about that, and face me'll think about getting your friends out. before I see if I can attach this sign to your head. <laughs> it's so nice when new contestants are in the village. It's lovely having fresh meat for us gladiators to destroy. Yeesh, why is everyone so cranky around here? Could be that we're forced into an endless cycle of destruction. Just a guess, though.
Would it be possible for me to uh, have some of that bread? It's for that guy over there. Seriously? I'm not falling for that. No bread until lunchtime. Get out of here before I make you into a meal. Does anyone have any food I can borrow or will have? I guess I should ask around. Excuse me. 